how did you prepare for your defense? Yeah, um, so I prepared for my defense by asking other people who had recently defended what their, what their uh, suggestions would be. Um, everybody sort of says the same thing, you know, read about your opponents and your committee, make sure you're familiar with their work so you can try to anticipate what kinds of questions they'll ask you. Um, that said, you know, in the field of sustainability, we are covering so much ground as researchers and so are all of our opponents and committee members. So even if you read their work, it's usually very broad mm -hmm. and so it's still hard to anticipate what kinds of questions they might ask. Um, but, and definitely I reread my thesis. So I got the advice from one of them that I should get a lot of people or a few people to read my work and then sit down with them for about an hour and just talk about it. Mm. And I think that was really the best way to prepare. Mm, so at first I thought I was going to read a lot, uh, all the literature that I've, I've been used and all the um, papers that I cited and so on. But I ended up not doing that so much, just on a few topics that I was uh, felt a bit unsure of. Other than that, I got advice a couple of years ago that uh, it's very important to read your thesis. So you remember all the details and you can come back and uh, actually think about why you, why you did certain things. So I did that, and um, I also got the advice that uh, you should just uh, try to enjoy the defense day. So I think two aspects that were like mm, useful to mention. Like one aspect was um, that I had like very like that I had like the entire text that I was going to like think through, or the like all the pieces that I wanted to mention in the presentation. I had written it down as a text and I had to boil it down to just keywords to be able to actually talk through it. Um, and just the day before, I was in the SRC where my defense was going to happen. And um, I was standing there and saying it out loud six times, which is really good because then I had some, I, I felt confident that I would be able to talk through it. Um, even if like, for example, the, uh, like some kind of technical aspect would fail me, I would still be able to mm. to to go ahead with the presentation. Um, but then also I woke up on the day of the defense having a sore throat. <laughs> so I would maybe not advise everyone to like talk through it loudly six times. Talk through it. Four you'll times. Gain, you'll, ga you'll gain confidence, but just talk very calm and uh, uh, and maybe, yeah. Don't overdo it. So there's this lag between when the book is finished and the defense happens. So the book gets finished and printed like a month before mm. the defense. Um, and finishing the book was the more stressful part for me, getting the writing done and getting the book printed. Um, so then I really needed a break after that. So in, so in this month gap, I kind of said two weeks and I can do anything. And then after two weeks, I'll start thinking about the presentation and the defense and stuff. And we have this really special um, practice within the PhD group to hold like a practice defense. Mm. So the other PhDs read all the parts of your thesis. And then I gave a practice presentation and then they throw all their questions at me. And honestly, the quality of the questions, the number of the questions, and the diversity of the questions were covered everything in the defense plus more. Mm -hmm.